Hello everyone, how are you? It is yours truly, Triple G, coming at you live. Again, it is not live when you see it. Well, the springtime is here, and uh, that means a couple of things to me. That one is lots of grass smell and everything. Allergy season is here. That means I am dying literally every day. Tears, stuffy nose, sneezing, just not pleasant. So if I sound a little nasally, that's the reason why. And springtime also means to me that the snowboarding season is almost over. So that's also very sad. But uh, springtime also means that all the new gear that we saw during NAM have slowly started to make their way over to stores and it is available for you to buy. So one of the guitars that I've pre-ordered even before NAM and uh, finally arrived today at my doorstep is the uh, ESP LTD Elite Horizon 3. Alright, so uh, let me uh, give you some close-up shots of the guitar. Here we go. So there is your uh, very familiar LTD headstock. Horizon 3. So it says LTD Elite. Bone nut. I kind of like your Vana nut, so I'm a little uh, sad that I don't see that here. Ebony fretboard, you can see how shiny that ebony is. And your 12th fret marker says ESP, just like your ESP. And your, you got your tip, you know, body shape of a horizon. Look at that, my fingernail polish right here, almost worn out, worn off, all chipped. I got to get that redone. Apparently, my, uh, Black fingernail polish is very controversial on YouTube. I've been called a lot of things. Like I give a fuck. There you go, reindeer blue. String through body. So back over here, the tuners are Godo Magnum locking tuners. It says made in Japan. There you go. Made in ESP Japan factory. Same factory where ESP guitars are made. Slight uh, uh, carve on the top, and then you got your uh, belly contour on the back. Binding. Seymour Duncan Custom 5. Jazz. Seymour Duncan Jazz. So this is very common pickup. You see this with a, uh, a lot of times with either 59 or JB. Uh, this is something that I've never had before. Now, something that I didn't see on the spec sheet, or even when I was holding one of these at NAM, was that this thing has a push pull. I didn't know that. So there you go. And I, I mean, color is beautiful, if you ask me. Alder body, maple top, maple neck, ebony uh, fingerboard, like I said. Um, but the neck is painted over, which I kind of wish they didn't. Uh, something that bothers me. The body binding coming up and yet it doesn't join up with the neck. That bothers me for some reason all the time. But here you go. Look at that. Just excellent neck uh, heel. It's a neck through construction. Alright. Master tone, master volume, three-way switch. That about does it for the exterior. LTD Elite line of guitars, brand new for this year. Um, the rumor was back then, I, I don't know if it's true, rumor was that ESP standard series would go away completely uh, and these would take over that spot so that ESP could concentrate on custom uh, build and kind of harken back to their root where uh, you know they were premier custom shop. That's you know, what they were going back to and thus uh, standard line would go away and these will take over. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Um, 
I've still seen some standards out there, so I, you know, we'll see. Uh, as far as the quality, you guys know how much I love Edwards guitars, right? So Edwards guitar basically uh, is this, and actually I should say LTD Elite is rebranded, rebadged uh, guitars with a slight cosmetic um, tweaking of the Edwards guitar, which are exclusively available in uh, ESP's Japanese market. So I've uh, flown in a bunch of guitars from Japan because I love Edwards guitar so much, uh, like my Alexi Leho Blackie and uh, 165 CTM, and, which I will show you, and I got my uh, Les Paul Standard, I got my uh, John Psyche's, um The Mirror, Pick our Les Paul Custom Edwards that I've flown in. So the reason why I love Edwards so much is because of their value proposition, right? And because they're made with such fine components and made with such good, great craftsmanship. Uh, they're not made in Korea or Indonesia or anything like that. They're made in Japan. Um, so where I saw what what I dug about that was because of the value proposition. Now, when you pay for PRS, uh, Gibson USA, you know, I still feel those are a little bit overpriced. You're paying a lot for the name. And unfortunately, I have a problem shelling out a lot of money for, um, you know, quote-unquote run-of-the-mill ESP guitars because I don't think the quality is, you know, significantly better than Edwards guitars or even high-end LTD models. Uh, so this sits in between the ESP and the, um, you know, the LTD model. So right here in the middle of the road, and I think the value proposition is definitely there with these guys, just as the same. Basically, it's the same price as uh, what Edwards would have cost me. Um, so it's a great value for the money that you would spend. Um, do I feel still these are slightly overpriced? Yeah, I think uh, we could do 100 or 200 less. Um, but I tell you what, paying that amount of money to get this quality of guitar, very, very hard, very rare. Um, obviously, ne next to US, you know, Japan is the next premier um, uh, you know, origin manufacturing uh, country. Uh, after that is maybe Korea and a lot of people turn their nose up on China guitars and Indonesia guitars and you know what have you, even Mexican guitars. But um, I mean premier components, uh, Godo locking tuners, Godo uh, tunomatic bridges, genuine US Duncan um, pickups, I mean what can you ask for? I mean it's just shredding machine. I mean Guys like Neo Geo Fanatic, uh, you know, guys like that could just, Sam Colson, all these re really talented guys could shred on these things. Um, unfortunately, you didn't tune in for my epic skill, because I got none. I'm pre pretty much a hack job. Uh, so anyhow, the guitar itself is a just weapon of absolute mass destruction. Um, <laughs> have been waiting for one of these to be available, uh, I would say find a dealer that carries these things, offer them a, a deal, don't pay what's on the sticker, see if they will go down 100 to 100 for you. At that point, I think it will be money well spent, 
Uh, you do not, I, I personally don't think you need to shell out all that money on ESP guitar, ESP branded, ESP, actual ESP model. This gives you all that of ESP. It just got the LTD Elite right here. Got the ESP stamp here, ESP uh, fret marker right here on the 12th fret, made by the ESP Luthiers, at least that's what they say, made out of an ESP factory where the actual ESP guitars are made. So you're not getting any sort of a second rate uh, guitars. Custom, beautiful quilt, five piece neck, and this has an ebony fretboard. And it is exact the same ebony fretboard that I see right here. Very same ebony. Right down to how shiny it is and all that. So that's an example of what's very similar to this horizon. And then here's my Indonesian made. LTD MH that has a rosewood net, uh, fretboard right okay so the reason why I posted it out for you is because so this here is not quite as nice as this guy obviously because it costs you know the half the money made in Indonesia uh, did come with a genuine EMG 81 and 85. Um, I mean, as you know, it's got ESP tuners instead of house tuners instead of uh, you know Godo or Grover or Schaller or anything like that. But this guitar, for the money, is very well built, great quality guitar. I mean, I I don't have any issue with this guitar. It's extremely playable, and um, you know. If you could look past the fact that it's made in Indonesia, this is a great, a great guitar. stock level is pretty low uh, so it took took a while for, for me to get it as well but look at that I mean it's a sharp looking guitar very well put together so there you go
So that kind of wraps uh, up for this guitar. Um, if you are wondering what this all this bullshit is about, um, you know, if you have uh, followed me on Facebook, and if you haven't, go do that now. Facebook.com slash guitar gear guy. Uh, so if you have been um, following me, I post a lot of things on a daily basis, and uh, one of the issues that I posted is that I got a lot of problems with the health. I got arthritis here, tendonitis, and nerve damage in the elbow. So it's very hard for me to even grip a pick, uh, let alone try to play. Um, this right here is while I get treatment, I'm trying to keep my um, arm warmer and uh, there's a slight compression that goes on here to kind of for me to withstand the pain a little bit because rep repetitive motion like this uh, definitely hurts a lot. Um, so that's what that's about. And it's not sort of any kind of a statement I'm trying to make or anything like that. Anyhow, uh, hopefully uh, my next guitar also will be here soon. I got a couple of other guitars uh, that I'm either trying to buy or already put on order. So once those come, I'll see you guys again. So until next time, you guys all take care.